Hey, welcome back. Josh Hardy here with uh, Hardy Brothers Outdoors. I'm really excited today to be here with my LT35 Wood Miser. Uh, I've had this since March. I've probably only used it about five times, but I think it's time to give a little bit of a review on it and uh, why I chose this mill and why I chose Wood Miser. So stick around. I'm going to talk about uh, the factors that went into uh, choosing Wood Miser over uh, Norwood and Hudson. I'm going to talk about uh, you know my experience with it so far and then we're going to get in and we're going to cut some uh, some ash and we're going to cut some walnut. Walnut for the first time uh, the ash we've been cutting it recently and it's cutting up real nice uh, so uh, we're going to get to that and uh, but before that I'm going to put this uh, this walnut log on here and get to cutting. now would probably be a good time to take a look at this this walnut this is the first time I've ever cut walnut we had a little problems getting it centered and set up on the mill I'm due for a new new blade as well this is what I've seen people do online to kind of get the full idea of how this stuff looks so this is the two pieces that were directly together that's some pretty good looking stuff First things first, I'm just an average guy here. I've never used a sawmill before. I love watching them on YouTube. I've got a ton of projects. I've got, uh, between uh, Jason and I, we've got 150 acres with about 60% uh, of that in hardwoods uh, and some pines that, that uh, don't have a whole lot of market value here. I've got a ton of projects that we wanna build. We're gonna build shooting houses. We're gonna build a sawmill shed. We're gonna build a, a solar kiln. Uh, we've got some bridges we need to build. Uh, we've got shooting benches, birdhouses for the Project Oasis. I envision using it to create some lumber for a, a new cabin that I'm going to build and also a screen porch. So projects galore and, uh, and I love projects and I love hobbies. So um, the LT35, I started out looking at Harbor Freight $2,000 mill. You know, I'm looking at it thinking, man, $2,000, I can pull the trigger and go. And I started doing my research and I joined the Facebook uh, community with uh, swing blades and, and bandsaw mills and I start lurking and learning information. I start pulling information from Wood Miser, from uh, Norwood. Uh, there's a dealership in Columbus, Ohio for Hudson. It's the only mill that's sold in Ohio. So I was able to go check those out. And here's the deal. Um, I thought I was going to get a Norwood. The price was right. I could upgrade it later to hydraulics. Uh, and, you know, I. I there's a couple things that happened though. One, I called Norwood. Uh, I had slow response uh, on, on my uh, inquiries. Uh, I called Wood Miser. I got stuff right away. I got stuff overnighted to me. I had piles of information that I was sifting through, reading other people's feedback, and it really came down to a couple things. One, this is a big purchase, no matter what size, uh, but I'm limited on time and I'm limited on help, and so hydraulics all of a sudden became the obvious need for me. Not just in the future, but as soon as possible. If I went the route of the Norwood HD36, by the time I upgraded it to what I wanted it to be in the future, buy what I need now, upgrade in the future, I was going to be at like 35000 So I ended up being around twenty-five dollars uh, because I also got uh, like the only two options that were I was able to add to this. One being the DeBarker and the other is having the, um, the Log Dogs uh, 
all four of them moving versus just two. So, all right, so it, it boiled down to uh, customer uh, experience. So, you know, in, in the buying process, uh, if I got the Norwood, I was gonna have to take a shipment and put it together myself. As I mentioned, time, time was critical. So hopping in the car and driving three and a half hours to Indianapolis to pick up the Wood Miser one, that, that seemed like a better deal, especially when it came with a six hour course to teach me how to do all the adjustments, change the blades. Uh, I saw a big poplar log while I was there. I mean, it was a great experience and that was a big selling point for me. The other thing was the resale value. I don't know what the Norwood resale value is. Frankly, it's hard to find used mills, uh, at least during the time I was looking. So, uh, and I, I didn't know enough about them to want to take the risk of, of getting used. So um, I bought new and I, I traveled to Indianapolis. I got the training. Uh, I look at this like a boat purchase. It's not going to get full use all the time. Uh, I'm going to use it for the projects I mentioned. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to use it to help neighbors. It's portable. I can take it where I need to. Uh, my property is very hilly. And there's going to be cases where I need to move the mill to the logs because the logs are going to be too big to move to the mill. Um, speaking of size of logs, uh, when I looked at the Norwood, uh, it did have, I think, about a 30-inch wide slab you could cut versus 26. They both can handle 36-inch logs, uh, so it just it really came down to uh, ultimately the price, uh, reputation, buying process, training, time, uh, and I, I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier with the LT35. Um, I've watched a ton of videos, I've watched a ton of people do it. I'm still figuring it out. There's a big, I wouldn't say a big learning curve, but there's more to it than, uh, than it appears on YouTube. So um, we're gonna get to cutting this ash and then I'm gonna come back and uh, give you a few more uh, things that I figured out along the way. We got some good boards out of that ash log. I got a ton of standing ash that's uh, you know, been standing and, and uh, dying and dead for a while because the ash bore, uh, emerald ash bore that came through here. It's been at least five years ago, but the wood's cutting up really nice. It looks pretty good. 
Um, so uh, we're going to keep uh, dropping them as long as we can safely and, uh, and see what we get. So before we go, I want to talk a little about the Hudson. Um, so there's a dealership and the people were fantastic here in, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Brownwood Sales is what, who they're called. And I actually bought a Uniforced Log uh, a PTO Skitter uh, from them and terrific people. I, I mean, I thought they were fantastic. The challenge was when I saw the Hudson product, it just didn't look like a, a professional quality. And I know there's plenty of people out there that have, have had them. I've seen good feedback, I've seen bad. The bottom line was there wasn't as much feedback. And so for me, I wanted a, a product that had a great reputation. I don't mind paying a little bit of premium because I felt like I was getting uh, premium service by having it already put together, by having the training, uh, and by having the brand reputation behind it uh, that meant that I was going to be able to get maximum resale value out of it if and when I decide to sell it. So the Hudson's, um, you know, pricing was, was pretty similar. They just didn't feel uh, like they were as fine-tuned in the, uh, in the, in the uh, engineering. They could have been just as solid, but creature comfort-wise, feature functionality, uh, it just wasn't, wasn't there. Now, at the time, I wasn't looking at a $25,000 mill, so they did have a demo one there. That one I saw, I was like, ah, that's, that's gorgeous. Uh, and I think it was on like a 24-foot trailer. Uh, but I never did uh, get a price on that. I think it was about a $27,000 uh, hydraulic mill. It, it looked really nice. Um, but I went with the orange. Very happy with it. Uh, so far, the experience has been good. Uh, I haven't really had any any issues so far. I, I changed my first blade today before we got to the ash. What I was seeing was, uh, and I was wondering, well, when will I know that I need to change a blade? But I was getting these big dips in the beginning right when it took off. So that was pretty telling. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have questions, leave comments about the LT35 uh, Wood Miser. And um, we'll see you next time. Hit that like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thank you.